Music Therapy and Psychological Disorders by Daniel Van Paris. Tuesday and Thursday class at 8.30 a.m. Introduction. This presentation will be focusing on the physiological response of the brain when exposed to music. The relevancy of this topic stems from music's ability to potentially be used as a therapy for individuals that suffer from specific psychological disorders such as depression or autism. Together we will look at how music therapy aids individuals with varying psychological disorders and how, as healthcare providers, we can utilize this information to make the lives of our patients more comfortable. The slides on this presentation are organized into sections by psychological disorder and the neurochemicals and or physical anomaly that causes the disorder, followed by an explanation as how music can aid the individual with the disorder. As a disclaimer, not all psychological disorders mentioned will have a definite etiology, as many disorders are not completely understood and further research is necessary to come to a conclusion on their cause. Before moving forward, we must partially understand what makes an individual a sentient being with personality and emotion, so that way we may appreciate and acknowledge how music may benefit these patients. The Neocortex The neocortex is the anatomical feature that separates Homo sapiens from all other animals known. Simply a fancier word for new brain, the neocortex is what gives us the capability to think and process beyond any other living species. The neocortex functions by a vast and complicated network of neurons firing synapses charged or blocked by neurochemicals. These chemicals and neurons are the reason we're able to think and feel, both physically and emotionally. Because of this, any change in chemical balance, anatomy, and or physiology may lead to a psychiatric disorder. These changes can be caused unnaturally by physical trauma or unnaturally, I apologize, or naturally by chemical, nutritional, or hormonal imbalances in the body and or neurodegenerative or congenital diseases. How music can affect these neurochemicals to help the patient with his or her disorder is the subject to be focused on. Disorders to be discussed. The first topic, depression. All of these definitions are defined by Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary. Dep depression is defined as a mood disorder marked especially by sadness, inactivity, difficulty in thinking and concentration, a significant increase or decrease in appetite and time spent sleeping, feelings of dejection and hopelessness, and sometimes suicidal tendencies. The second topic, autism. Autism is defined as a variable developmental disorder that appears by age three and is characterized especially by difficulties in forming and maintaining social relationships by impairment of the ability to communicate verbally or non-verbally, and by repetitive behavior patterns and restricted interests and in activities. The third topic, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is defined as a degenerative brain disease of unknown cause that is the most common form of dementia that usually starts in late middle age or in old age that results in progressive memory loss, impaired thinking, disorientation, and changes in personality and mood, and that is marked histologically by the degeneration of brain neurons, especially in the cerebral cortex and, the, and by the presence of neurofibrillary tangles and plaques containing beta amyloid. The fourth topic, insomnia. Insomnia is simply defined as Prolonged and usually abnormal inability to get enough sleep, especially due to trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Once again, all these definitions were provided by Merriam Webster Online Dictionary. The first topic to be discussed depression. In a study performed by Western Michigan University, a direct correlation was formed between music and reduction in stress. This conclusion was reached by measuring concentration of plasma oxytocin, plasma being a component of blood, and concentrations of adrenocorticotropic hormone, also known as ACTH. Both of these chemicals are known for their effects on overall mood and stress levels. These levels were increased during musical activities, signifying a reduction in stress. 
In conclusion, this means that music therapy can have a positive impact on patients experiencing depression. Speaking from, purely from personal experience, as an de individual with depression myself, I can wholeheartedly agree with the conclusion of this study. And oftentimes, if I find myself especially gloomy on a day, it can be music that can help change things around. Music therapy and autism, the second topic. Autism. Autism is a difficult topic to challenge due to the mysteries of the disorder's origin. There are very little to no medications available to treat autism because of our limited understanding of the disease. Because of this, neurochemicals will not be discussed in this segment, but instead we will focus on music therapy and its ability to positively impact behavior of those suffering from autism. According to musictherapy.org, individuals with, these, this, with this disorder respond extremely well to music therapies. Therefore, we should take full advantage of its capabilities. In a direct quote from the site, music can promote relatedness, relaxation, learning, and self-expression. Music therapy addresses multiple developmental issues simultaneously. And as we know from the definition stated before, autism is primarily a developmental disorder. I personally also know somebody, somebody close to me who is diagnosed with autism and he happens to be talented on piano. Uh, music has helped him throughout his entire life cope with many things. Uh, I believe autism kind of goes together like bread and butter with music. So as, uh, music therapy is very good for this disorder. The third topic, Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is a disease manifested in changes to the anat anatomical structure of neurons and therefore have little to do with neurochemicals. Regardless, in a study performed by the Department of Medicine in St. Anthony Hospital, music therapy has been shown to help Alzheimer's patients with a spatial temporal task, which is defined as the ability to conceptualize three-dimensional relationships of objects in space and to mentally manipulate them as a succession of transformations over a period of time. This definition was provided by dictionary.spa.org. In another study performed by Aurora and Yellow M. Etel, it was discovered that listening to familiar Spanish songs showed a stabilization or improvement in self-consciousness. All these factors, along with limited medicine-related treatment options, or pharma pharmaceutical treatment options as well, support the concept of using music therapy to help those suffering from Alzheimer's. A little uh, fun fact about Alzheimer's is um, the portion of the brain that Alzheimer's affects, which is most of the brain, but specifically the portion of the brain that is uh, tied to uh, memories of music or hearing the music, um, I believe the temporal lobe, is not affected. So oftentimes music is the only gateway um, severe severely demented patients have to their previous life. It's kind of like the last memory they may have. So Alzheimer's and music therapy uh, is, um, I, I would go as far to say, a lifesaver for some individuals because without it, they may not have much of a life left to live. It's their last, uh, it's their last window into the life they once had. So music therapy and Alzheimer's is, um, I, I believe it should be a must with uh, patients with this disease. The last topic, insomnia. As we all know, sleep is necessary for mental health. Without it, people become angry, anxious, and stressed. All of these emotions have negative impacts on the body, actually creating physical responses that can lead to disorders and diseases if not acknowledged and treated. An example, say you haven't slept in a day or two, you become stressed much easier. This stress or this anger or this anxiety can lead to hypertension or high blood pressure. High blood pressure can then lead to, let's say, heart disease or increased risk of heart attack, which can obviously be fatal. So um, using music therapy to help somebody sleep can quite literally potentially help them continue living. Music therapy can help reduce the risk of these disorders and diseases by helping us all get a better night's rest, both in quality and quantity. 
and a study performed by the Louis Armstrong Center for Music and Medicine, a unit of a hospital introduced a sleeping protocol where music was individualized per patient and took advantage of music therapists during the noisiest hours of operation. In effect, this showed a decrease in zolpidem usage, a drug prescribed for insomnia, indicating a positive shift in patient sleep in quality and quantity. Now, as a little disclosure, Disclaimer, obviously, the study used the decrease in zolpidem usage as a direct, as the correlation, but as we've learned before, correla correlation does not always mean uh, causation. It could have just been that patients were, for whatever reason, sleeping better, but I, I, would, I would believe that after introducing this sleeping protocol, that it did have some effect in promoting sleep on these patients. Um, it is not a far-fetched idea at all. Um, although they're, the author of the study, the doctor, did uh, state that there were surprisingly little studies that showed uh, correlations between music therapy and insomnia, and also specifically in younger individuals. Um, this is interesting because insomnia and depression are linked closely because insomnia often leads to very high rates of uh, suicide in adults. So that was the main purpose of studying this, to help increase, uh, promote the lifestyle of the patients on this unit of the hospital, and to take a further look at uh, how we might be able to help lower the suicide rate and get help people get a better night's sleep, lower reducing all these other risks. These sources, are the Amer uh, American Music Therapy Association, uh, the three other studies. Uh, thank you, and that, that'll be all. Have a wonderful night.